Hey guys, welcome back to Chill Lives Only. Today I'm going to be answering common questions that I get asked around sex and desire and vibrators and intimacy. These are common questions that people will DM me and that I have conversations about all the time and the reason why I want to do a video is just to answer them in case you are wondering what the answers are to these questions or you've had questions like this before and to also normalize that we all experience these issues and we all want to understand so sharing um, what I know through my research on the answers to these common like kind of sex desire vibrator questions with you guys hopefully will help you guys get a better understanding and feel better about it um, so yeah we'll get into today's video so I picked three Three of the most common questions that I get asked in my DMs because I find that when lots of people ask me questions they come thinking they're the only one who's experiencing this and it's not true at all everybody goes through pretty much the same experiences I find around sex we all are gonna have ebbs and flows and questions um, because we're all more or less kind of experimenting and figuring it out for ourselves so don't think that if you you know, ask me a question that no one else has ever asked before. I'm often telling people, like, I hear this all the time because we're all kind of going through the same stuff. Um, and the more that we talk about it and share it, the more normalized it will become and the more comfortable we'll all get about talking about sex. So, the first question that I always get asked in my DMs is, is it normal for me to not want sex at X age? Or, you know, I used to really want sex a lot when I was this age, and now that I'm this age, I don't want it as much anymore. Am I normal? Um, why is my desire changing? Is this, like, through a relationship or just is this what happens when you get older um, and so what I want to say is that first desire is going to ebb and flow throughout your entire life um, it's going to ebb and flow throughout your different types of relationships and it's going to ebb and flow based off of your current situation so asking if it's normal 99.99% of the time is um, it doesn't matter what age you're at, you could be going through something really, really tricky in your life right now, you could be having like a lot of, you know, maybe body confidence issues, or you could be struggling with financial stuff, or you could be having a lot of different stress in your life, and your sex desire is obviously going to probably not be as high as when you, you know, were not stressed out financially, or you were, you know, away on a vacation, or you were just getting to a new city, or you just moved somewhere new and you met a new partner. Um, our sexual desires are going to ebb and flow regardless throughout our life and that's normal. That whole experience is normal. So getting worked up about your age and if you should be desiring sex or not desiring sex um, shouldn't be what you should be focusing on. Instead, you should just be focusing on where you are currently in your life. Um, do you even want your desire to be high right now? Like Maybe you just don't have time for sex and that's also okay, right? Like Everyone's going to ebb and flow and there's not one specific age that you peak at and one age that it's completely downhill. Um, we're going to ebb and flow considering our situation. You could be, you know, 70 and having a lot of really great sex, or you could be 20 and not having sex at all. Um, it's just depending on what's going on in your life, how you feel about yourself, and how you feel about your relationships. Okay, the second question I get asked a lot is, if I use a vibrator, am I cheating? So, absolutely not. Um, I've talked about this on my Instagram page before. I don't know if I've ever fully talked about it on YouTube, but um, using a vibrator is like using a tool from your toolbox. Um, it's not going to affect your ability to have an orgasm naturally. I won't even say naturally because everyone has orgasms in different ways. Um, but using a vibrator, if anything, it's just going to help you have better orgasms and it's going to help you have an orgasm faster and it's going to help you experience more pleasure. Um, it's a tool in our toolbox, right? So if I was asking you to, you know, hammer a nail into a wall and I said you can either use your hand or you can use a hammer, Nine times out of 10, you're probably gonna to wanna to use a hammer because A, it's gonna be easier, faster, and it's gonna feel probably better for you. Um, so the way that we look at vibrators with sex, we need to look at them the same way we look at tools and other things that we use in our life that help make our lives easier. It's not cheating, it's not saying that, you know, something's wrong with us. If anything, it's just gonna make sex better for you. It's gonna help you enjoy it more and your partner's probably gonna enjoy it more as well. Um, so no, using a vibrator isn't cheating. Using a vibrator is super, super helpful. I highly recommend doing it and it's not gonna change anything in your body or make it any less harder for you to have an orgasm. If anything, it's just gonna help you have an orgasm. And then the third question that I get asked a lot is, why does the stuff that used to turn me on before not do it for me anymore? And what this really comes down to is context. So, you know, when you first started dating your partner, um, maybe you guys were living in your own apartment together or something and you had, you know, low stressful jobs and, and you had a lot of time for sex. And it was fun to have sex, you know, maybe in the kitchen or in different places in your apartment. Um, but now that you're, you know, maybe 40 or 50 and you've settled down and you have kids and you live in a house, um, you know, 
having sex in the kitchen is the last thing that you want to do um, and you might be wondering like why was I so adventurous or why was I doing all this kind of stuff before that turned me on and when, it, when I try to recreate it now in my life it doesn't turn me on anymore and it usually just comes down to context so context is so important when we think about our accelerators and our brakes so say your accelerator is having sex you know elsewhere in your apartment or your house other than your bed um, you may be able to recreate that situation but if the context isn't right, so for example, if now you have kids and you're exhausted and the kitchen's a mess and you are worrying about, you know, someone waking up or coming downstairs, you're not going to have the same experience that you did when you, you know, might be were living alone with your partner in your apartment having sex in the kitchen. Um, so context really matters. Just because you recreate an environment that you used to have doesn't mean that your desire is going to increase because of it if the context isn't the same, right? So there are other things in our lives that happen, other things that change that we also have to consider. So the things that used to turn us on might not turn us on anymore and that's okay. It's just about kind of creating the same type of environment with better context. So maybe you guys rent a vacation home and you guys go away just that vacation home and you have sex in that kitchen, not your kitchen in your house with your three or four kids. That's gonna create more of a context similar to what you had before. Um, so oftentimes we think we can just, you know, recreate it exactly, but we have to tweak it just depending on our life circumstances. So if you're looking for answers to these questions, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you do have any more questions, I'm always happy to answer them and do the research and talk to you about it. Um, if I don't know the answer, I try to point you in the best direction. Um, so yeah, feel free to DM me at CVO Wellness. Give us a follow. Um, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe because that really helps this channel. And I'll see you for another video shortly.